Given that x is greater than 0, show that log a of x to the power n is equal to n log a of x. Solve the equation 9 to the power x over 2 minus 3 equals 6. Show you're working and give your answer correct to three decimal places. Solve the equation log a of x minus 2 plus log a of 4x plus 1 equals 2 log a of 2x minus 3. So let's have a look at this then. I've got the question in summary form here. So part a... Okay, so here this holds provided. Okay, let's unwrap this logarithm. X to the n needs to equal a to the power of this term here. The unwrap the logarithm, the a swings up and hits this in the air. a to the n log a of x. But, but, we see that, so let's have a look then, so a to the n log a of x is equal to, let's just swap these two things around, log a of x times n, and using properties of indices that will be a log a of x to the power n, power power u times, which is what we've got here, using the power power rule for indices, and a log a of x is just x, isn't it? So in other words, we've got x to the n. So that's part a. Now part b, we need to solve this equation here. So what we'll do is we'll take logarithms both sides, well we'll change this to log form, so bring the 9 under as the base of the logarithm. So x over 2 minus 3 drops down to ground level. So b here. The x over 2 minus 3 drops down to, down to ground level and 9 swings under and it's log 9 of the number 6 which was on the right hand side. Okay, so now move the 3 over. Uh, 3 plus log 9 of 6 and then multiply by 2, move the 2 from divide to times on the other side which is log 9 of 36 really isn't it? equals 6 plus log 2 comes up to be a power 9 of 36 and we can work that out. We need to work it out to 3dp yeah so let's do that on the calculator then so 6 plus log of 9 of the number 36. 7.631 to 3dp. 7.631 and that's to three decimal places. Okay, that's B. Now part C. Solve this log with them here. So I'm just going to copy it so I can paste it down below. So let's take that then. And this is part C. We need to solve this equation. So let's paste it in. And then we'll drag it down below. And we'll have a look at this part. This is part C. We need to solve this equation. Let's have a go at it then. So plus u times, so we've got log a of x minus 2 for x plus 1 is equal to, and this 2 can come up to be a power, log a of 2x minus 3. 2 swings up to be a power squared, so now that implies if the logs are the same, the values will be the same. 4x plus 1 times x minus 2 must equal 2x minus 3 squared. So let's expand the brackets. 4x squared plus x minus 8x there and then minus times plus is a minus 2, 1 to 2. This squared is 4x squared minus 6 minus 6 is minus 12x plus 9. So the 4x squareds cancel. Move this 12x over to be on this side 
So we end up with 12. 1 minus 8 is minus 7. 12 minus 7 is 5x is equal to. Move the 2 over to be with the 9 to make 11. So x is equal to 11 over 5, or 22 over 10, or 2.2. So x is 2.2.